Here's my Gilmore Pattern Master. I just got this at a yard sale. Um, I could adjust the distance on it, but uh, the piece of plastic that holds that ring that you used to adjust the distance is uh, um, broken, kind of, so I can't really adjust it, but I could run it like this for now. They still make these, although they're not the yellow and black anymore. They're like the black and green, something like that. Got this in a box of sprinklers for like 10 bucks. I've seen these a lot around, a, a, a lot of places like hardware stores and big box stores. And I actually had a couple when I was a kid. They're pretty cool to have because you can contour, you can set up the distance so like if your yard is kind of like this but you don't want it to like water there, you can, like, right away the position is you could take that ring and push it up and it'll reduce the distance of just that area there. So you contour it to your yard and you won't have to worry about watering anything that doesn't need to be watered. Basically how that's set up, if it gets to a part where the distance needs to be shorter, that deflector that's on the left side of the arm there will also hit that stream and make the sprinkler go faster. I'm not exactly sure why um, they set up like that, but... I'm surprised the sprinkler actually still works. I mean, it looks like it's pretty old. I mean, that's probably why that uh, plastic around the adjustment there is uh, breaking off. It's brittle. But... There's a couple other sprinklers in that um, box that I need to test. There's a Western Brass that's unban unbranded, uh, 61. There's a uh, plastic and zinc old Melnors. And there's actually uh, another black and white Gilmore like this, not the Pattern Master, but the normal kind. So, all for 10 bucks, I figure that's a pretty good deal. Certainly if you buy these sprinklers on eBay, they're a lot more than that. This one, I mean, talk about the design of the PJ arm. That keeps that um, splash in line with the stream. Does a pretty good job, actually. And Gilmore did a good job of following that design and not having it out to the um, side like usually most cheap impacts do. So. It's a pretty good design. I kind of like Rainbirds. And all, most of their, if not all of their impacts with the PJ design tend to keep the, the arm, uh, keeps the splash in line with the stream and not off to the side at all. The ones that, um, like the cheap zinc impacts that still flash off the side, that kind of consider like a PJ spring. Most of these sprinklers that I got were on um, couplers. I have a feeling that maybe these were on uh, risers, maybe in certain positions of the yard, or maybe the guy had a stand of his own that he just put each head on, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm also gonna make a video of the Western brass head as well, a couple of the zincs. The Western brass is unbranded though. It does not uh, have any branding on it, I can see. You know, I did get my 51 today. Um, it's in a um, one and a quarter inch input case, which looked almost like the 91 DR, but I opened it up, it is a 51. I guess maybe they use those cases in either impact. Because I'm assuming maybe you can take either internal 